I've never been a part of something like this. I was honored to be part of the list to come and record. Just to be able to walk into a room like today and have records like these start to unfold, it's, a, it's something more, something deeper behind it to me. We were raised on, on playing Madden, you know what I mean? So to be on the soundtrack, it'll be, it'll be monumental. There hasn't been an athlete on the Madden soundtrack ever. In March, we did a career day for the players. We wanted to bring them in, kind of give them a day in the life of a record label. Interscope did an NFL day, and they were like, yo, we want to see if you could put something together. Fast forward, I guess the conversation's just been in the building and through NFL, Interscope, and Madden, just about putting together the soundtrack. And the fun part is that we're able to curate these records and work with these athletes and these artists and put them together on records that's competing with the industry. I want to legitimize the space and make sure that the music that we're putting out is credible to the culture and something that not only the players want to hear in the locker room, but that fans want to hear as well. I'm very excited for uh, seeing these guys get their shine in a different light. So Armstead, his, his, he has a very, like a, like a Rick Ross effect when it, with his voice where it's more of like, it demands a room. Sort of like, hold oh, on, you can't hang with the game, we don't know y'all, hold on. With Interscope Records, with you know Dr. Dre, original soundboard. We got like legendary energy in here. The artist that's that's been coming in that we're potentially collabing with, incredible. This is crazy. I'm I'm just humbled, excited to be here, uh, excited to show my my talent and ability too. My inspiration comes from just um, respecting the craft. You know, what I mean, respecting all them artists in there what they do, the time they put in, it's, it's like practice. Like we go to football practice, they, they hit the studio and they practice, you know what I mean? So just respecting the game. I mean, this, this experience has already been satisfying enough, you know what I mean? Just talking to those guys, listening to unreleased music. And I've already, I'm already soaking up some, some game and knowledge from these young guys. Uh, it's, it's only gonna get better. I feel like if you do music, you do music. If you're an artist and you're doing music and you're trying to do music, you're an artist. So my goal is to get the athletes to really get looked at as artists and have records that can compete with the artists that's in the industry right now so people aren't really judging them and putting them in a box for their creativity. Because of course, you know, the football thing is a passion, but a lot of these athletes that I've been running into like really love music as well. And I know that they have those dreams to be accepted into the music world. So if I, if I have the opportunity to make that happen, then, you know, that's, that's the goal. Ray Ray is just like a superstar. Like he, like just watching Ray Ray move in the room, it just kind of gives me like the Easy e vibes, the Allen Iverson vibes, where it's just like, yo, he, he, he like, he got it. Music's in everybody. Sometimes people just got it, you know, but you can make yourself just got it by working. Same thing applies to football, applies to the world. I mean, the time you gotta put in, for the little you get out. And you put in all year, it's better 17 days. Off the field, work is gonna, gonna show up on them 17 days. The same thing on the mic. What you doing off the mic gonna show up in here. And that's how I look, you found my voice. Like going to the studio over and over and over and over. Like I'm on strong. If the police get behind the bro, just keep going. It starts, my voice coming together now. I uh, salute Interscope to the biggest. Putting their foot out there and actually wanting to have the change of athletes having not that narrative of stick to one thing, you know? That's my biggest take in this. And even when I was here career day, I thought that was a big salute to him. Right now, I was working on some stuff for this as well. Darren, like his whole aura and his presence is just like, there's not that in music. He has one of those voices where it's like a, like it's anthems, it could be played just all over the world. And even with his music, you can hear the aggressiveness and the pain in his voice. And a lot of artists don't really have that. So when he says certain things and he pronounces certain things, it sounds really good on record. The beat for uh, Step, like I was just like playing beats. I was about to leave on the career day. I was about to go catch my flight. I was just like, I got the ox at the last minute. And uh, Derek was like, nah, load that up immediately. Like, just, just heard the beat and ran it. I was like, man, like, this, cause nobody's ever, I'm the only person that's ever rapped on my beats. You know what I'm saying? So that was like a really cool thing and to see it come together and to, see that they have ideas for me and want to bring ideas to me and have a vision for how they see me on a track. It's just a really cool feeling, you know, because I'm, I'm somebody that cares about music and cares about, you know, coming with a purpose and coming with intention and not just 
doing nothing for haphazardly. It's a blessing, you know, it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime, you know. Uh, you don't really get an opportunity to record for a video game that you've played in your life, you know. A lot of us already know each other, a lot of us are friends. So the inspiration is for all of us to kind of remember these moments. Because we all grew up playing Madden, we all grew up watching football. Madden has been a staple for most of my life, so to be able to be approached like that and, you know, have my first beat placement potentially be on, you know, a Madden soundtrack which is being overseen by a legendary label, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I don't know, man, it's just surreal. Let's go. Damn, this is so good. I can't wait for this to come out.